we are going to be talking about how you should prepare and what you should expect when completing the multiple choice section of the AP Psych exam. So without beating around the bush, let's get started. The AP Psych exam will be two hours long, including 100 multiple choice questions and two free response questions. You are going to have 70 minutes to answer 100 multiple choice questions, which will account for 66% of your final score, and 50 minutes to answer two FRQ questions that will account for the remaining 33% of your final score. As I mentioned in this video, we are going to focus on how to approach the multiple choice section. If you would like some tips on how to approach the FRQ, I have another video that focuses on just that. The link to that video can be found in the description box. Anyways, as I mentioned, the multiple choice section will include 100 multiple choice questions that have to be completed in 70 minutes. So if you've been watching my videos, then you know that math is by no means my strong suit, but I am pretty sure that gives you about an average of 42 seconds to answer each question. That is not a lot of time, and that's exactly why it is super important to go into the exam as prepared as possible. There are going to be three skill categories that are assessed during the AP Psych test. All three skill categories are present in the multiple choice portion with the following weight. As you can see, a huge chunk of the multiple choice will focus on concept understanding, which is going to test your ability to define, explain, and apply the dozens and dozens of concepts, behaviors, theories, and perspectives we have talked about throughout the entire course. From start to finish, we have completed nine units filled with a bunch of terms and concepts. Now, luckily for us, the College Board does provide us with an exam weighting breakdown for each unit. Looking at this breakdown can give you a good idea of what units to focus your study time on. So how about we go ahead and take a look at a sample AP Psych multiple choice question just to get a better idea of what to expect on exam day. So here we go. Harry Harlow's experiments with rhesus monkeys suggest which of the following as most important for infants when establishing an attachment to their mothers. Is it going to be A, the amount of time spent with the mother? Or will it be B, the mother's ability to protect the infant from physical harm? C, the mother's ability to provide nourishment to the infant? D, the tactile characteristics of the mother? Or is it going to be E, the particular vocalizations of the mother? So just for the fun of it, pause the video and take a few seconds to think over what the correct response is. After you have come up with your final answer, resume the video and we'll take a look at it. playing along, the correct answer to the question is going to be D, the tactile characteristics of the mother. Harlow's experiment was actually able to show the importance of touch and contact in order for proper emotional development to occur. So every multiple choice question on the AP Psych test will be formatted similarly to the one I just gave you. So you're going to have the initial question and five possible answers. Obviously only one of the provided answers will be the correct response. While the additional four will be distractor questions that are designed to, well, you probably already guessed, to distract people who are unfamiliar with the terms or concepts being assessed. And as I have stated multiple times during this video, there are going to be a hundred of these questions and you are only going to have 70 minutes to answer each of them. So while it is important that you work quickly, it is still very important to make sure you are fully reading over the question in its entirety to make sure that you are reading it correctly. Be sure to look out for certain words in the questions such as accept, least, and but. These words can completely change the question, but luckily for us, these words are usually capitalized and easy to spot out. So a few more basic tips that you can actually apply to any multiple choice test. Before looking at the provided options, try to think if you can come up with the answer on your own. Then look for that answer on your list of provided options. If it is there, chances are it's correct. This can help with increasing the confidence of your response. If you are running low on time and you look back in your test book and you have a few blanks remaining, remember it is fine to guess. You are not going to be penalized for incorrect answers. So you are much better off taking an educated guess in order to receive the point. With that being said, Remember, you're only going to have an average of 42 seconds to answer each question. Because of this, it is very important to do your best not to overthink the question. A lot of the times, the first answer that comes to mind, that gut feeling of yours, or intuition, hashtag psychology, is correct. So go with it. You're not going to want to spend too much time on one question. If you have no idea what the answer may be, just skip to the next question and come back later. You may find that coming back to the question at a later time will help jog your memory. 
And last, remember that time is going to go by a lot quicker than you may think. Be sure to keep an eye out on the clock and pace out your work in order to get through the whole section. You do not want to be in a position where you hear that there's 10 minutes left and you look down at your test and you still have 50 questions to go. Now remember, at the end of the day, you've been taking multiple choice tests throughout your entire educational careers. This is nothing new to you. The most important piece of advice I can give you is to keep up with the content. How well you do on this test really does come down to how much of the concepts you can recall and properly apply to the question. You can't remember the information, you can't apply to the question. So really do your best to get familiar with all the important vocab terms. All right, so that does it for this portion of our AP Psych test tip review video. If you enjoyed, please do feel free to like and subscribe. It is always appreciated and will keep you up to date with all of my videos. To those of you taking the test, I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.